Little minnows right there. Yeah, there's a lot of little minnows. That's like, place is crazy. It's got a bunch of shad too. Looks like there's something right here. Something bit it right out from the ramp. It's like, it drops down to like nine feet, like almost immediately. Yeah, I threw out in that deeper stuff and got some little bumps when it was sinking, but I think they might've been, might've been perched possibly. Yeah, I would think they'd still be hitting it. I keep seeing little blow ups out in the middle and stuff. So they're definitely feeding on top water. Yeah, I like to kind of get it swimming. And like, even if you can like put a little bit of slack in your line and kind of like pop it, you can get it to walk back and forth a little bit, kind of like a frog. Right. I like to do that and then just like kind of pause it. Really no wrong way to work it. Right. Back where they got them. <laughs> That's like sick. There you go. Right in the shallow stuff. Is. 
<laughs> right? Dude, you were a freaking Hit the Texas rig? Nice. Texas Rig Cinco. Texas Rig Cinco. Definitely should be four pounds. It's a little skinny, but he's got a big old head on him. Heck yeah. Would you take a photo of me? Yeah, man. My little fish. That's a good one. That might be the best one we catch today. Get off the maps. I go on sideways, yeah. Let me pull my mask down too. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, no one will know it's you, yeah, that's man. Right. <laughs> Gotta know it's me. I see a lot of people do that though. They'll leave their mask on. You want to get a vertical? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Perfect. Cool. All right, dude. It's been fun. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. He's like, fuck you. <laughs> thanks for hooking me in the face. I didn't catch a keep the catfish one time like that, and I was like, hmm. <laughs> that would taste good on a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Make you second guess everything. Yeah. Like, all right, look, fish, don't go far. I'm going to use this shad, and I'm going to catch you again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, you like shad, right? What's your favorite thing to eat? I don't even think those dudes are fishing. They're just like talking a lot. <laughs> Good for us. That whole like reed line all the way down to them hasn't been touched because they're talking. Fine by me. They can keep talking. Shit, that's kind of what they're feeding on. They're feeding on like shad. That's what's loaded in here. Yeah, a shitload. I think that's what that splash was earlier. I think someone was throwing a cast net like all day. One time this guy like, he had to have thrown a cast net like 20 times, 20 or 30 times in the same spot on that little shallow spot back there. And then like, I didn't really see him like dumping anything out, but he left with his bucket. He was gone for like five minutes. He came back, threw it like 30 or 40 more times than he just left. <laughs> so I get, I'm assuming he was catching a bunch of bait. Yeah. What? Really? That's illegal. That's totally illegal. Oop, that's not where I was trying to cast. I don't think I have any black and blue Cinco's. I got some other, I got like a green color. 
it's a it's a full size one though i think you're using like a five inch right yeah, yeah it's, i think the ones i have are a little bigger Yeah, I think, I mean, I caught them on that bait color and I caught them on this color. So I think they'll eat about any color. You just got to get it down in their face. Yeah. I think this one's just a little bit lighter than the bait color. Than the what color you got? Oh, yeah, that one? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they'll eat that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm telling you, like, that morning dye, that shallow. There's one. Oh, he went right into the jump. spots on them. That is a giant bullfrog. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, we were out at when we were out at uh, Wheeler the other day. Uh, my buddy Blaine went out there, and I like caught it. It was just after I caught up with him, and like we're kind of talking. I make like a cast, and uh, it sounded like somebody flew a drone right over our heads and was like hovering over us. And I was like, I looked at him, and I was like, dude, what the fuck is that? He's like, I don't know. And I look up and it's just like a swarm of bees. I've never, I mean, I've heard it. Oh, it's like I've never seen it. It was weird. They, like a whole swarm of them flew over the lake all together. Oh, I was like, what the heck? I was like, I wonder if I got that on GoPro. I did, but you can't really hear it or see it. Oh. And it was loud. Like it, I don't know how it didn't pick up the audio. Yeah, if you get like a frog up in there, I bet you they'd eat a frog in this stuff if you worked it slow enough. You happen to have one. I'm weird about frogs. I don't really know about it. It's the frog, like out of all topwaters, it's like the most let down just because, like, they, they really don't get hooked up that easily. You gotta have like a super heavy rod and like braid to really get a good hook set with them. Yeah, sweet. And today ended up being a decent day, dude. It's the kind of day I was hoping it would be. Yeah, catching them is just a plus. It's always good when they're biting though. You want a picture with that one? Still got some fight. Nice. 
Remind me to send these to you when we get back. You want a horizontal? Yeah. yeah. Gotta get the horizontal. Got it. I always like the horizontal ones better. I don't know why. Yeah, when they get big, that's like how you're supposed to hold them. Yeah. It's like, how freaking weird is that? Oh, and then my other uh, French Lake story, I think I got off, off track when I started talking about French Lake. I talked about the five pounder, but uh, the first uh, duckling I ever saw get eaten oh, shit. was out of there. And I, it was a, a, a giant alligator snapping turtle. Oh my God. Yeah, like it would live in those rocks. I would see him every now and then. He had a big old, I mean, head was like that. And he came up and- uh, Oh, I got fish on him. Yeah, dude, nice. Hell yeah. That must be a color thing because I do. I flipped all of that with this color. And actually, I did get that one bite. I don't know if it was him. I did get that one bite right about where you are. Now that I think about it. Good one. Oh, your bait just flew off. I saw it fly off. Yeah. He threw it. Hey, you still got the fish. That's all that matters. Yeah, stuck to your hook. Yeah, I saw the reed kind of moving too. I feel like there's a little bit of lay down stuff underwater. Oh, go for it. I'm about to move down, I think. Biggest bullfrog I've ever seen in person? Yeah. French Lake. Really? My freaking friend Jay, that one I told you lived in Bicentennial uh -huh. area, then we would catch everything. Yeah. We freaking go to, we get dropped off out there at the lake, we're fishing and stuff, and he's the real ADD, like just runs around, starts getting like, I don't know, just exploring and stuff. Yeah. And uh, I kid you not, those rocks over by the park, I don't know what he was doing. I don't know if he could hear one like that one. But uh, he's like, I can see a bullfrog in there. He freaking reaches in, grabs it. Or at least, I don't know if he grabbed it or scared it out. But I remember he like, I think he had grabbed it actually. Because what the fuck? It's like a whole stock. Um, the next thing I know, he's like chasing this frog. It was the freaking ugliest biggest frog i've ever seen in my life dude this thing was like jet black and he was like he ended up catching it but this thing's jumping like to get away from him and i swear to god dude it's jumping like two feet off the ground it's like bleh, bleh, and he's just like he's scattering around he grabs it he's holding it like this and its legs are touching the ground wow. i was like oh my god and this was like we were too young to have phones or anything so like there was no pictures or anything of it but I looked up giant bullfrog, like just Google searched it because I was like, that thing was fucking giant. And like, there's some big ones. <laughs> you should look it up one day. Like they get freaking ginormous. Dude, I saw a big one once that was, uh, we went to this guy's dove hunting property. Yeah. And uh, he had a stock pond on it. So we were hunting a stock pond. Right. And, uh, one of my friends, he was, <laughs> Shot him with a shotgun. Blew it up. <laughs> really? No, oh, this thing was freaking scary. It was like a nightmare frog. I was like, what the hell? And it was just like living in the those rocks. Like those piled up rocks by the park. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. It would not be the same. I don't even think those other guys probably did any good. If I wouldn't have said anything to them, they probably would have never come back. Yeah. Cause they did not, I don't think had a very good. Yeah, and he was like, oh, they must've caught the only fish in the lake. Yeah. <laughs> so they obviously hadn't caught anything. Yep. Yeah. In the boat.
Yeah, you can't keep them away because they can walk on the top.